The big breaking news of this hour is from Arizona. NBC is projecting two important wins in Arizona for the Democrats. Democratic Senator Mark Kelly is projected to be the winner in his re-election campaign over Blake Masters, Donald Trump's chosen candidate for Senate in Arizona. Senator Kelly uh, went over the top with uh, some numbers from Maricopa County that were delivered tonight. Also, there's mo one of the most important, if not the most important, Secretary of State race in the country, Secretary of State of Arizona. NBC is projecting Adrian Fontes as the winner of that race over Mark fin Fincham, who is an election denier who has all but promised it to corrupt future elections in Arizona if he had been elected. Again, NBC is projecting Secretary of State elect Adrian Fontes in Arizona. And joining us now is Arizona's Secretary of State elect Adrian Fontes. Thank you very much for joining us on this important night. Uh, it it was, uh, took a few days to get here, but this is possibly one of the most important victories uh, in any of these elections that we see anywhere in the country. Tell us what was at stake in this campaign in Arizona. Is this the campaign or one of them that President Biden meant when he said democracy is on the ballot? There's absolutely no question uh, the diametrically opposed candidates in this race, Mr. Fincham, an, an oath keeper, an anti-Semite, an election denier, uh, and myself, a Marine Corps veteran, an election administrator, uh, the guy who beat the cyber ninjas here in Maricopa County. We uh, advocated for our team, the people who have actually run elections, uh, Democrats, Republicans, independents alike, regular citizens who've been pilloried, uh, who've been insulted, who've been called frauds and cheats uh, by these election deniers uh, for the last two years uh, have had their comeuppance. Uh, we are very excited that the voters in Arizona have recognized the nonsense that they presented. And it looks like voters across the country are pushing back hard against this big lie. Uh, and I'm just very proud to be one of the folks carrying that standard forward. Uh, and I'm very, uh, I'm very excited. But uh, this is just a media call. We're going to respect the process, which is the appropriate thing to do. Uh, you know, when I look at the uh, exit polling of issues of importance to Arizona voters, uh, inflation is at the top by far. Uh, crime is, is in there on the list, uh, down at the bottom of the list. But most of these issues, uh, abortion, they, they have nothing to do with the job of Secretary of State. So what, what did you find to be of concern to voters uh, in, the, in, the issue, in the job of Secretary of State? Well, the issue was whether or not they'll be able to vote in the future. Uh, look, these folks uh, really wanted to stop regular Americans from voting. My opponent had actually sponsored a bill to take the selection of U.S. Senate, uh, U.S. senators away from the voters in 2018 before the big lie started. Uh, this is an authoritarian view of what America should look like. Uh, it's, it's, it's fascism at the end of the day when you look at all the rest of the factors. And that has been soundly rejected. Uh, we are very excited about having represented well Republicans and independents and Democrats alike. Remember, Arizona only has about 32 percent of our voters are registered Democrats. We had a broad coalition across all party lines of folks who wanted us to help protect democracy. They saw this campaign as the tip of the spear, not just in Arizona, but nationally. And again, I was uh, very proud to have had that support, cross-party support. Uh, and the voters knew what was at stake. Uh, I think a lot of times politicians and pundits don't give the American public the credit they deserve for knowing what's at stake. Uh, this time, the American public came through. Uh, and I'm very, very excited for the official call, uh, which will probably happen in several days from now. Uh, Katie Hobbs, the current Secretary of State, now a candidate for governor, has suffered death threats uh, constantly uh, since the vote counting started in the 2020 presidential election. And those death threats have continued uh, all the way through to this time. What made you decide to run for an office where you know that in the current climate, death threats are part of the job? 
Well, <laughs> we also suffered those kinds of death threats. As a matter of fact, about a year and a half ago, I was on Capitol Hill testifying uh, with other election administrators. This is uh, a disease that has plagued election administrators across the United States of America. It's wrongheaded. It is anti-American. It is fueled by the big lie. And the American voters have, uh, I think, resoundingly said, that's not acceptable anymore. We are not going to do this. We're going to have this purely civilian exercise be a civilian exercise. It's going to be run by mature, level-headed, reasonable people who might differ in various other policies. But when it comes to voting, when it comes to access to the ballot box, uh, we need not act uh, like monsters or children or childish monsters, which is what we've seen. Uh, we need to act like grown-ups. And uh, thankfully, uh, it looks like that's who's going to be in charge of elections in Arizona and Nevada and several other states across the United States of America. I'm very excited about some of my colleagues across the nation uh, who look to be in the same sort of position that I'm in. And I'm excited to get to work to make sure we restore the confidence that unfortunately has been lost in systems that are perfectly legitimate, perfectly well run, yeah, bumps and bruises here and there. But at the end of the day, we're all human beings. But we do well together as Americans when we act like Americans. And that's the important piece here.